everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to use the first translation theorem to evaluate Laplace transforms. We use the first translation theorem when we're taking the Laplace transform of something of the form e to the at times some function f of t. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first translation theorem. So the first translation theorem tells us that if the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s and a is a real number, then the Laplace transform of e to the at times f of t is equal to the Laplace transform of f of t with a shift from s to s minus a. And so what's happening here is we are taking the Laplace transform of f of t and we're shifting it by an amount a. So anywhere we see an s, we are going to replace it with an s minus a, and we can rewrite this as f of s minus a. And graphically what's happening is we are taking the Laplace transform of f of t which is f of s, and we're shifting it on the s axis by an amount a. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the Laplace transform of e to the 5t times t to the third power. So as our first step, let's go ahead and start off by identifying what a is equal to. So a is equal to 5. And next, let's go ahead and identify what f of t is equal to. And so here, f of t is equal to t to the third power. And next, let's go ahead and take the Laplace transform of f of t. So we have the Laplace transform of t to the third power. And then we have a shift from s to s minus a. And so a is equal to 5. So we have a shift from s to s minus 5. And next, what we're going to do is we are going to evaluate the Laplace transform of t to the third power. So we are going to go to our table, and we see that we have this case here. So the Laplace transform of something of the form t to the n is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1. And so here we have n equal to 3. And so we have n factorial, which is equal to 3 factorial, and then divided by s to the n plus 1. And so we have s to the 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. And then we have a shift from s to s minus 5. And now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. So we know that 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. So we have 6 over s to the fourth power with a shift from s to s minus 5. And so in our last step, what we're going to do is anywhere we see an s, we are going to replace it with an s minus 5. So we have 6 over s minus 5 to the fourth power. And that is our final answer. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So we have the Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t times cosine of 4t. So as our first step, let's go ahead and identify what a is equal to. So a is equal to negative 2. And next, let's go ahead and identify what f of t is equal to. And so f of t is equal to cosine of 4t. And so in our next step, what we're going to do is we are going to take the Laplace transform of f of t. So we have the Laplace transform of cosine of 4t. And we're going to shift it from s to s minus a. And so a is equal to negative 2. And we can rewrite s minus negative 2 as s plus 2. And the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to evaluate the Laplace transform of cosine of 4t by taking a look at our table. So we know that we have this case here. So the Laplace transform of cosine of kt is equal to s over s squared plus k squared. And we can see here that k is equal to 4. So we have s over s squared plus 4 squared with a shift from s to s plus 2. And in our last step, what we're going to do is anywhere we see an s, we are going to replace it with an s plus 2. So let's do that. So we have s plus 2 over 
s plus 2 squared plus 4 squared. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you use the first translation theorem to determine the Laplace transform of a function. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.